If I were to describe what it means to be coachable at Railroad CrossFit, um, I would probably say, number one, to be humble, leave our ego at the door. I would say to be attentive, that we will always be learning each day, no matter if it's day one or year seven, we're always gonna be learning. Be open to feedback, coaching, when you get coaching, that means, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something wrong, it's just maybe to improve efficiency. So, uh, openness to learn, be attentive, um, and be a sponge for the knowledge that you will receive each day. So what I think it means to be complaint free here at Rolo CrossFit is no gossiping, so no talking about other people, uh, negative things outside of here, also embracing and turning a negative into a positive. So for example, uh, we're doing heavy squats one day or heavy deadlifting and man you say I hate squats or squats suck or they feel heavy turn that into instead what you're gaining from the squat so all of the good that's coming from that and then also a willingness to embrace the challenging things that come to you uh, in here every day in a workout and then outside of here So communicating at Railroad CrossFit, this is very, very important. We want you guys to keep, you know, an open dialogue with your coaches, you know, communicate how you're feeling that day, how you're feeling in the gym, out of the gym. That's just going to help us get you that much closer to your goals. The, the big one I like to harp on is uh, asking questions, right? There are no wrong questions. If we're having trouble understanding something or you want to know a little bit more about something, you know, whether that's, you know, what weight should I use in the workout? You know, what stimulus are we trying to meet for the day? That just gets you that much closer to, to meeting your goals. Uh, so to be consistent, what consistent means to us here at Railroad, um, it is finding that time uh, in that day of the class that works for you, right? So if it's that 5.30 a.m., three times a week, that's where it is. And if we sleep through that alarm clock and we miss that 5.30 a.m., finding the time throughout the day maybe to hit another class. So it's building the, this into your lifestyle no matter um, no matter what life throws at you, right? Um, and then if it's that three times a week or five times a week, we stay there consistently always. We're always hitting three times a week. We're always hitting five times a week. Um, and then once you walk in the doors, being consistent in here, being consistent with your effort, being consistent with um, attitude, and uh, that would just help us get even closer to to uh, the goals that we're, we're looking to meet. And be on time. <laughs> So being caring at Railroad applies to not only being caring towards yourself, but being caring towards others as well. Being caring towards yourself is important because we need to put ourselves first. We need to come in here, take care of ourselves, take care of our health, <clears throat> make sure that we make the time throughout our day to do the things that make us happy, to do the things that make us feel good. But we also need to make sure that we help others feel good too. You never know what kind of day somebody had, so when somebody comes in, giving them that smile, asking them how they're doing, if they say not so good, having that conversation with them um, during the workout, cheering people on, supporting them um, after the workout, helping people clean up their weights, um, any equipment left out, and just giving those high fives and making people feel welcome and happy and good. <laughs> 